After searching around the park, the kids find themselves at the park's snack shack. What kind of food can you cook with just a microwave? Just a microwave? Hi guys, I'm Percy Spencer, inventor of this bad boy. But let's cut to the chase. Hungry? Are you sick of waking up at 5 a.m. just to cook dinner? Tired of going through the trouble of starting a fire? Are stoves just too dangerous? Well, then you need a microwave. No, I just want some food. I'm starving. Yeah, what's on the menu? Well, with the microwave, the opportunities are endless since almost all food has some water in it. What does water have to do with it? Well, you see, microwaves cook your food by sending radiation to it. And then... Radiation? Yeah. That's what turns people into mutant monsters. Yeah, it killed someone too. That's one scientist, Marie Curie, who studied radiation? It killed a Marie? My name is Marie! Get that thing away from me! Calm down, ladies. This is safe radiation in the form of microwaves. It has just enough energy to make the water and fat molecules vibrate and heat up your food. What's a molecule? Molecules are made up of atoms. No way! My name's Adam, and I don't look anything like that. No, A-T-O-M-S. Atoms are the smallest bits of matter. They're so small that you can't see them. There are just over 100 types of atoms, and they're listed on the periodic table of elements. Everything in the world is made up of these elements. Think of it like this, Adam. When people call water H2O, that means a molecule of water is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. How'd you ever figure out that that radiation could be used to heat up food? Well, can anyone really explain how a genius thinks? Genius? Ha! <laughs> this guy was working on radar. You know, the kind that ships and airplanes use to determine where objects are. Anyways, microwaves use radar too. So when Percy here would stand in front of the machine, his chocolate bars would keep melting in his pockets. We all thought he kept having accidents until he figured out that it was just the microwave's fault. What kind of resistant are you? Do you know how many chocolate bars I had to let melt in my pocket before I perfected this beauty? The first model weighed 750 pounds and was six feet tall. Zero appreciation. Yeah, sure. You meant for the chocolate to melt in your pockets. <laughs> Oh, right, let's get back on track. As I was saying, the possibilities are endless. Look at how many great things you can do with the microwave. Watch it turn this delicious potato into french fries. Mmm, delicious. McDonald's has nothing on me. Want to watch a movie? You can't forget about the popcorn. It's overflowing with popcorn. Anybody seen Toy Story 2 yet? After that popcorn, we're gonna need some dessert. Who wants some apple pie? Mmm, looks great. Tastes like America. Well, my mama always said, let them eat cake. Science rocks, I agree. Nice touch. How about a nice chicken dinner? Can I get a volunteer from the audience? Ooh. Me! I'm an expert at using microwaves. Oh. Perfect, here you go. Well, that's not right. <laughs> this can't be sanitary. No, I assure you it is. I'm Louis Pasteur, sanitation expert here at the Snack Shack. That name sounds familiar. As it should, I discovered that microorganisms can grow in our food. Some bacteria are good for us, and others are bad, like the ones that spoil milk, or the ones that give us food poisoning. Hey, my family buys pasteurized milk. Does your work have anything to do with that? Yes, pasteurization is a process that was named after me. It involves heating up 
beverages to kill the microorganisms that will prevent you from getting sick. Wow, so your scientific work led to discoveries and uh, technology that makes food safe to eat. Yeah. Way to go. Hey, don't forget about me and my discovery. I mean, I can make pie. Oh, we won't, and you'll get your just desserts too. Run! <laughs> oh, you shut up. <laughs>